we're talking about the message, let's talk about visually what do you want to achieve? Because you have past, mm. future, and present in this film with luxurious nature, and then again, the darkness. Yes. So you know, I w the, the look of the movie was particularly important for me. Um, it's, it's where I do a lot of the storytelling, um, ha in the blocking and in the lighting and the colors and the costumes. It says a lot about the characters and the story we're trying to tell. It takes the burden off of the main actors. Uh, if the more I do, the more rich I make the background, it makes it easier for them to see things as authentic and feel that way. And if they can feel the, the discipline behind all of that thinking, it, it makes it feel rich, you know, rather than just kind of something surface that goes away. Um, we spent a lot of time on the visuals. I spent a year just thinking about the world, designing the world with my designer, just what the world, what the, what the clothes, what the, what the houses will look like, what the texture, why, what, what, the, what do the weapons feel like? So we spent a ton of time on that as I was fleshing out the screenplay and it, they kept informing each other. And you decided also to shoot with a Sony 4K, right? Yeah, I mean, yes. you've, been, you've been one of the first who actually was yes. pointing out that, yes. why? Well, you know, that particular camera is un unreal. First yeah. of all, I, I generally find digital cameras to be cold. So they have a little bit of, they have a kind of a gray, silvery quality to them. And I generally like to make warm room pictures. I, Unbreakable was kind of colder mm -hmm. in its look. But generally speaking, I, I like warmth. And this camera has warmth. And, and it really was, it basically felt like film. It felt like a film camera, but it had m more pliability. It, I, could, I could shoot in earlier, I could shoot later. Um, it could catch things in low light. I mean, in reality, there's no projectors in the movie theaters that can play the information that we recorded. I mean, it's fascinating. By the age of 16, if I'm not wrong, you had already shot 45 short film or something, something like that. Something, yeah, something crazy, yeah. And, uh, but still you pursue the, the, the study as, uh, you know, fam your family wanted you to be a doctor. How was for you to look, knowing that you went the part, to look the, the, the chemistry and the reality between father and son that actually are going for the same career? That's true. You know what? I'm actually experiencing it a little bit now because I, I have some uh, teenage kids, and they're they're interested in the arts, and so we're we're we have lots of conversations about the arts. So in in, in many ways, our family mimics their family. And my daughter's 16, and she's in, in doing a lot with music, and so we talk a lot about intention and like, how just it's it's fascinating because my dad was an immigrant and you know, was a doctor and assumed I'd be a doctor. And I think we all just to kind of want the family business to continue because we've spent our lives thinking about it. It is fascinating. I think they have been a little bit of an example for us in terms of thinking of it as a family business, that we're artists as a business. One of the topics we uh, keep close to heart is the state of the public uh, education, mm. which today, this morning, we had this Google um, um, conversation with some students. And since they are the future and they are the one who have in and what's going to happen, do you think schools are doing enough uh, to prepare in them? For on this subject of environment? Yes, an environment. And because and, it's strong, it's not just mm -hmm. a topic out there, it's present. Yeah, they're not doing enough. <laughs> no, but it, I, hopefully they're doing more. I, I can see in my family, like from, from, my, from my dad, for example, doesn't think about an environment at all. And I, I do, but my 16-year-old daughter thinks more about the environment than I do. But my 13-year-old daughter thinks a lot more about the environment. And my 8-year-old daughter thinks like it's a given. You can't hurt. You can't hurt the earth, right? So as each generation gets more and more intolerant of it, I think it'll it'll change that way. And that's what we.